Right. I was that impressed with this picture. I thought I'd show you how I colour it in. Just because you might be interested and you can do this with coloured pencils as well. So, there's the outline of your picture. Your picture, you drew this. So, what I've done is, I'll click the first button. I've already pre-done this, you see, but this is the stages of doing the picture in. So, this one I've called the basic colour, which is what you do with your pencils, isn't it? You colour the shirt in, the pants in, the legs and the skin in, and even do the full wood colours. So, it's basic, it's a flat colour, meaning it's just one colour with no range or different tones in the colour. So then the next step I did was I coloured the blood in a little bit more. Now as you can see around the head I put a little bit of blood in there on the scar in the chest on the arms and there I coloured that in a little bit more and where there's a little bit of a bite mark there and it's missing arm. So that's what I've done. So now it still looks flat, meaning it looks two dimensional, it doesn't look three dimensional, which is um, which is what we want to look for. So we have to work out which direction. First of all, we're going to shade it, and this will make it look more real. But we have to work out which direction the light source is coming from, or the light, meaning the sunshine, or uh, a torch, or a light in your house. So, there, I'm going to put the light coming from the left hand side. I'm going to put a little arrow next to it in a minute. So, I'll just get on this now. I'm going to shade it. So, as you can see, let's turn now. See the arrow there pointing in? That's where the light's coming in. Let me turn the shade down again. So, I'm going to turn the shade up a little bit. Where the light's hitting, it won't change the colour, will it? because the light is lighting the skin. But where the light isn't hitting as much, you shade it. Now all I've done, you can shade it with a pencil. I've shaded it, I'll show you on the side now, hang on. Let's see that one. See that there, that's my shade. So if I want to shade something in, I do that. I'll do little strokes. And if I keep going over it, I'll get darker make my pencil a little bit smaller and concentrate more on making that darker. Let me notice how it blends in. Well this is all I've done on the backs of the legs because the light there wouldn't hit that side of the leg there would it? It wouldn't hit that side of the shoe. It wouldn't hit in the inside of the arms there. You see it? And obviously one side of the face is going to be dark because it's been hidden from this side all sorts on the eyeballs see so watch you see there right watch i'll just shape the eyeballs a little bit more like that you can do this with a pencil if you do it right and do a little bit darker near the edge there so how it starts to make the, the eyeballs look round i've done around the nose a little bit see and now in between the arms of light it's not going to get there is it so you can just darken it and on the edge of the arms there. Because the light will hit that, it'll hit that. Or at the side of the leg, the shorts here. Obviously when the legs turn in, it's not hitting that bit. So we do that darker. And we do this darker on this side as well. And you notice how it starts to make it look and see where the shoe is. The light won't hit there because your leg's in the way, your body's in the way. So we start to darken all of this. Right. All you have to do is where the light's not going to hit underneath the shoes. The light's not going to hit. And when your shoes are on the floor, they always have light. So that's all I've done. And inside the head here, look, oh, it's going round. The light's not getting in there, is it? So it needs to be dark to make it look. But don't do it all black. But as it comes to the surface, it's the lighter, but the further in, like a cave, the darker it will be. Right, so what I have done now is a little bit of highlights, not much, but they are on, off, on, 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 I mean, off, on. 
but you can kind of see now if I turn the shade off so all I've done is done like you can do with a light pencil if you want or a lighter colour of the same so if you're doing green you can just use a lighter green to do it or you just use a white pencil but see there on the arm with the ball missing that's a highlight on the shorts that's just a lighter colour just highlight the odd little thing where the light's going to be really strong that's all I've done and I'll put it on the shoe there Turn the highlights off again. I'll flash them. See them? A little bit on the teeth and the ribs. And some on the eyes. If you're on the eyes, well, if you look in your eye in the mirror in one day, you'll always see white dots, then are the reflections, then make it all real. And all I've done here now, on the next layer, what I think I've put a little tiny bit of extra colour on the green shirt, let's see. A little darker green, so you use a darker colour. It doesn't, uh, sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. So that's it basically, that's your picture. Oh ah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Don't forget, the light's coming this way, so the shadow will be going away from the light, won't it? So if you put a shadow on, it'll look even more real. So there you go. So let me just make a copy of that. Turn all this off. These are just layers. Right, so this is after it's coloured. So you didn't take long to see before. So add the colour, add the shading, which is important. Maybe the highlight. Think about where the light's not hitting. Let me switch it on again. And there you go. Now turn that's what I mean by that. Oh, I'll just turn that off again. Yeah? Ignore all this, I'll teach you this sometime.